I think it's going to make their job a lot more enjoyable. I think they're going to have a lot more fun at work. I think it's going to allow them to get their head up and start looking for barcodes. They're going to be able to talk to people and uh, you know, just making small chat, uh, you know, conversation with people is going to be take that obstacle out of their way. Um, the gates are going to allow them to turn over the task of actually scanning a ticket and allow a machine to automate that process. That way they can provide personalized, hospitable guest service. We are still planning on having our friendly lift staff there to greet our guests. The capacity is something that we pride ourselves on. Nobody likes standing in line. The only way to ensure that we keep every chair full every dime is to have someone there, making sure that we've got four people in every group. Well, it started behind the scenes years ago, and we've been looking at this for a while, and it uh, started with a lot of us visiting other resorts that have rolled this technology out, something we've been looking at for a while. We wanted to let a couple other resorts to test the waters and work the bugs out, um, so it started with that. We've had multiple meetings with RTP and site surveys to make sure that we know where they're going, and uh, um, we've been, right now, our IT department's working really tirelessly to make sure that the products are set up correctly behind the scenes so that they'll um, work effectively when they get out to the lift. I'd say that the biggest hurdle that we had to overcome with optical scanning was the actual optical scanning and getting that laser to read the barcode. Um, those scanners were designed and you know, mainly used in retail environments where it's inside. So trying to take that technology and bring it outside was challenging. That's going away completely. Um, another th item that we had to struggle with it was a, all based off of a wireless um, system. And uh, we have done a lot behind the scenes to upgrade the infrastructure to support this new technology. And uh, that's going to take that whole element out of the way because we'll have wired copper, if not, ether, uh, if not fiber optic, to our lifts to support this. Vertical tracking will be accurate. Um, and it'll also, from a guest service perspective, not only will we be able to track uh, you know, vertical feet for them, but I have been asked lots of times when we're trying to track people down, um, you know, we can pull them up and uh, see their scan history and see where they've been most recently. And until recently, if someone was over on uh, Star, Heather, or Cascade, we had no idea where they were. We would see their last scan on Mount Hood was three hours ago, and after that, we didn't know where they were. So um, this will allow us to provide a higher level of guest service too, so we can help people find lost parties or for search and rescue, be able to pull uh, last scan information as well. We went back you know, to ticket checking, it was really them saying, you know, I'm not letting you on a lift. With the barcode scanning, we were able to take it to the next step, which was the scanners not letting you on, but still they had to deliver that message, whereas now it's all about the guest service. They're there simply to facilitate and help the guests get through that gate if there's a problem and uh, just answer any questions. It allows us to really uh, focus on the hospitality side of things and not be tied up with the, the task of actually verifying the pass. I'm really excited about the season. I can't wait to see everybody. It's been a long summer and looking forward to having everybody back up when the snow flies.